Hello everybody, it's Friday and we're going to Phoenix for the NASCAR championship race. Let's do this. here to Phoenix finally uh, about four hours and 20 minutes I'm a little rusty on making a vlog but I've actually enjoy making them and uh, have missed doing so so maybe I'll do some more later down the road so I'm here at the Marriott I think it's called the AC Hotel Phoenix downtown or whatever uh, I didn't take an Uber or anything I actually just took a taxi and uh, the drivers here fantastic compared to Florida so uh, they were uh, they were very accommodating and even helped me charge my phone. I think they're, you know, uh, competing with Uber and Lyft and stuff, so it makes sense, but that's what I chose, and uh, I'm pretty happy with it. Pretty cool view right here. You can see uh, downtown Phoenix right out the window here. There's some fire and stuff going on down there. I don't know what that's all about. I do want to check it out. Got some business suits down there. What are they doing? Oh, that's a meeting in progress right there. Just kidding. Of course I am rusty. I haven't uh, been in, I, I had the camera turned around the wrong way, but uh, gotta love the face mask. Pushes my beard down to like crap. <laughs> Not very good at all. No. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go check that out down. I see what that's all about. Sunday is the big day for me and hopefully I'll have a grandstand seat for that. But I plan to get a bunch of footage while I'm at the track and uh, I'm gonna call it a night.
it's the next day, getting ready to go and see the Cup Series race today for the championship. But last night, I mean, what can you say? Just an incredible race. Love or hate the format, it put on an amazing show. Uh, it is uh, really early for me, so that's the reason why I'm still waking up. But I'm ready to go to the track and get the day started. Um, now it came down to you know Daniel Hemrick and Austin Sindrick, and he moved them just. He's gotten to him a little bit, moving up the track, a little bit of short track, you know, bump and run action. Um, it was it was awesome to see, and that track right now it puts on a great show, especially when they get down the dog leg and they just fan out like that. <laughs> it's really 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 cool. So I'm expecting that the Cup race is going to be equally as thrilling. So that's what we hope for, of course. Anywho, I'm going to head to the track and we'll get started.
Well, what can I say about this weekend? I know, I'm like red, got some sun. I actually used sunblock yesterday, but I didn't use it today, so it's not burnt, but it's definitely, definitely cooked a little bit. Um, but what can I say? It was just, what an incredible experience you've already seen. Um, I was, you know, rooting for Martin Truex Jr. Um, in the beginning or of the race, and uh, I pretty much the whole race. So I was rooting for the underdog going into this thing, uh, just to shake things up, because everybody else was going for, you know, Larson or uh, Chase. And I'm happy for Kyle Larson. I'm happy for, uh, you know, I was for all four of them. I was uh, going, you know, I was going to be happy regardless of who won. Um, but what an incredible race. And there towards the end, you know, it just shows you what kind of a class act Martin Truex Jr. is and uh, raced him clean. He didn't, uh, you know, he didn't do anything dirty or anything crazy. So hats off to him for that. Uh, it shows the kind of driver that he is and the reason why I do like him. So apart from that, uh, it is pretty late now. I'm going to go to bed and get on a plane in the morning and go home finally. Uh, so this morning we had a breakfast with Motorsports Games and uh, it was a brutal meeting. <laughs> Myself, uh, Malad, uh, Radman, and uh, Eric, a step. Uh, we were in a breakfast little meeting with Motorsports Games and I can tell you that nobody um, sugarcoated anything um, and we gave our direct feedback. That's what they were asking us for. That's what they wanted us to do. You know, part of being here in Phoenix was just to have a sit down meeting with them. Um, and it went well. I think, um, you know, it's just going to come down to brass tacks if, if they do it. You know, it, it seems like there's a lot of, yeah, we know. And they know. They know they screwed up big time. Um, that was something that was brought attention immediately. Um, but it seems that, yeah, you know, there is light at the end of the tunnel. At the end of the day, it's, it's video games. You choose what you, you spend money on and what you want to do. Um, I Not a channel that tells you to go out and buy something or not. I, I don't do reviews very often, like, if at all. What I heard was good. And as a NASCAR fan, makes me happy. I don't know. We don't know until they do it, right? Yeah, exactly. Love the city. Very cool. The dry heat was something I've never experienced before in my life. I felt like I had a cotton mouth the entire time because I could not, I'm used to Florida. We have, you know, a bunch of humidity in the air at all times. Here in Phoenix, they do not. So that took a little bit to get used to, for sure. But I like the city, it's cool. The desert's awesome. And uh, Phoenix as a track is really, really, really cool. Really enjoyed that. Met a lot of different uh, drivers. Uh, you know, big thanks to Live Fast for being part of uh, the whole thing. Um, giving us some, you know, access to what's going on with them with BJ McLeod and all that. Uh, also went into Tyler Reddick's trailer. So a big thanks to RCR for showing us around uh, that stuff as well. Um, and uh, that was Jay over at Motorsports that made a lot of that possible. Uh, he used to work for RCR. Um, but anywho, that is going to do it for me and the Phoenix. I think I'm going to edit this down to where you're going to get the um, Xfinity and then the Cup Series race all together. Uh, and I'm going to keep some real raw stuff in there so you can see what it was like to be there at the track and feel the excitement. A lot of fans. Sold out crowd today. Absolutely cool to see. Um, but that's going to do it for me. I'll see you guys next time. Take care. If you're looking for merch, be sure to check out the links in the description or click on the one here that you see on the screen. Are you not happy with your current soap products? Star Symphony makes handmade soap with all natural ingredients. They even send the recipe so you can make it yourself at home. Star Symphony now with a limited run of the Galaxy collab that I helped with. You can get soap, the beard oil that I use, or whipped body oil. Thank you all for the love and support. I do appreciate it.